Let's say you're walking down the streets of Taiwan and all of a sudden you hear air raid sirens. What should you do? Well, you should find safety. And to do that, you can open up the National Police Agency's app, which has a map of all of the air raid shelters around Taiwan, or you can follow one of these signs to find the closest safe spot. Last year, the government started a campaign to inspect each shelter and update their maximum capacity thresholds. Police say that they've completed over 90% of their surveys and that work should be finished in mid-July. Part of the police inspections is updating signage that shows where the closest air raid shelter is. But as you can see here, they just have an arrow that shows the general direction of a shelter and not exactly where it is. There's no address or information about how far away it might be. Taiwan on paper has close to 90,000 air raid shelters. That may seem like a lot, but some say the country takes a quantity over quality approach. That's because many of the country's bunkers are not dedicated shelters. Oftentimes, they're just buildings' basements. The air raid shelter in Taiwan Plus's building can also be found on the National Police Agency's app. It's actually registered as being the basement's fourth floor down there, which, like in many other places, is the building's parking garage. Many of these underground shelters are not well ventilated, nor is there any air conditioning or supplies should people need to stay for extended periods of time. Taiwan's Defense Ministry recently released the second version of its Civil Defense Handbook. It urges the public to prepare emergency supplies to take with them in the event of disaster. Perhaps Taiwan's air raid shelters are meant to provide a basic safe space, while the rest is up to the citizens they protect. Andy Xue and Leslie Liao for Taiwan Plus.